Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru. So I had a student this week ask me how to call a Java function from within a time leaf template. He wanted to go into the database and get some data to display on the template. Now, this is a very poor programming practice. I've seen this in production. I've been in a couple major retailers where they had static method calls that ultimately called to an Oracle database. And what this did is it, it took their front end templates, and in this particular case, it was using traditional JSP pages, but the same concept applies to time leaf templates as well. And through these static method calls, they were tightly coupling things so tightly that you couldn't work on this without being on the enterprise VPN and without having access to an Oracle database. So when you're working with any type of link engine, and especially Spring that supports the MVC paradigm, your time leaf template is the view layer, and we are just returning a model to that view. And that model should just be a simple data object. It should not have logic in it. It should not be doing things like going back into the database. And these are all very poor programming practices. And what we're doing is we're separating out the concerns so that the templating engine, he's just gonna render that page and all he wants is data. All, all he needs is that data to apply to that page. Your controller should be effectively a traffic cop. So he's gonna take in a, a web request, go to a service layer to get what's needed, come back, provide that, create a model or bind to the model in Spring MVC Sense and return it back to the view layer. And these are all separation of concerns. And when we separate out an application like this, it allows us to do things like unit test our controller, make sure that the controller logic is correct we can mock out the, the service layer. We can plug in different databases. In the, the previous example that I mentioned, where we had static method calls in the view layer and the JSP pages calling directly to the database, it's tightly coupled. You cannot run without that database being there. And it, as a developer, it was very frustrating because you couldn't develop on it without having the full stack running. So it was just so tightly coupled and it slowed down development. It, it slowed down development. It slowed down our responsiveness to the business. It decreased the quality of the code because it was so buggy and, and tightly coupled. It, it was just hard, hard to maintain. So I answered that student saying, no, this is a bad programming practice. And I hope you understand why through this video, you do not want to tightly couple things. You want to keep things loosely coupled and separate out the concerns. Things should have a single function in life. Your template is a templating engine. The time leaf template is going to be a templating engine. And you're going to provide it a model. Your time leaf template should not be talking to the database. Career, I've seen a lot of bad programming practices. I've seen stuff happening inside JSP layer that shouldn't be happening. I've seen stuff happening inside of a controller that should not be happening. Your controller should not be accessing the database directly. I've seen controller methods with a thousand lines of code that open up a JDBC connection, go out and do raw SQL statements to the database. This is a very brittle code. When you're coding in the enterprise, be sure to be following good programming practices like the solid principles. One of those is a single responsibility principle. So keep those concerns separated and you're going to have a lot higher quality code that's going to be easier to maintain and you're going to be more productive and bring business value to the, the enterprise that you're working with.